Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. If you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe, comment, rate, and share. Okay, chapter 16, problem 8 says, Compare the electric force holding the electron in orbit around the proton and the hydrogen nucleus with the gravitational force between the same electron and proton. What is the ratio of these two forces? And they tell us here that the radius uh, between an electron and a proton and a hydrogen atom is 0 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So they want us to compare the electric force with the gravitational force. So I'm going to start with a picture. Here's a proton and a neutron and a hydrogen atom. And here's the electron in orbit around them. And the distance between them is 0 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So to solve for the electrical force, we'll use Coulomb's law. The force between two charged particles is equal to the proportionality constant times the charge of the first particle times the charge of the second divided by the distance between them squared. So recall that K is 9 times 10 to the ninth Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. And also recall that the elementary charge on an electron or a proton is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th Coulombs. So we'll just plug our numbers in here. K is 9 times 10 to the ninth. Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Q1 will be the proton, so that's going to be positive 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And Q2 will be the electron, it will be negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And then we'll divide by the distance between them squared, which is the radius of the electron, uh, the atom, I mean. 0 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 meters squared. So let's plug our numbers into the calculator here. I'm going to start in the fraction, 1.602 with an exponent of negative 19 times 1.602 negative with an exponent of negative 19. Then I will divide by the radius 0 0.53 with an exponent of negative 10 and then square that equals and then multiply by the constant. 9 with an exponent of 9. Okay, so we get negative 8.2 times 10 to the negative 8th. Okay, and let's look at our units here. We've got meter squared in the numerator, meter squared in the denominator. Coulomb squared in the denominator and Coulombs times Coulombs in the numerator. And that leaves us with Newtons. And this force is negative. That means that these are in attraction, which is what we expected. And now we just need to compare this force with the gravitational force. So the the gravitational formula is very similar to Coulomb's law. Uh, here we use g, which is Newton's gravitational constant, times the mass of the first object, times the mass of the second, divided by the distance between them squared. So we need to know that g is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th newton meters squared per kilogram squared 
And we also need to know that the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. You can look this up in any physics book or Google it. And the mass of a proton is 1.6726 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. So we just need to plug these numbers into this formula and our distance will still be the same radius, the 0 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, so the force equals G, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. The mass of the proton is 1.6726 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. And the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. Divide by the distance between them squared. Oh, I think this was three. Yeah. Squared. So let's plug these numbers in and see what we get for the gravitational force. I'm going to start here in the fraction, 1.6726 with an exponent of negative 27 times 9.11 with an exponent of negative 31. And then I'll divide by 0 0.53 with an exponent of negative 10 squared and then we multiply by the constant 6.67 with an exponent of negative 11 and we get 3.62 times 10 to the negative 47th Okay, and let's look at our units here. We have meters squared in the numerator. That will cancel meters squared. Kilograms times kilograms in the numerator will cancel kilograms squared in the denominator. And we're left with newtons. So the gravitational force, I'll use a G here to mean gravitational force, is on the order of 10 to the negative 47th and the electric force is only on the order of 10 to the negative eighth. So the problem also asked us for what is the ratio of the two forces. So the ratio will be the electric force which is 8.2 times 10 to the negative eighth newtons divided by the gravitational force which is 3.62 times 10 to the negative 47th newtons and the newtons will cancel the ratio has no units so we have 8.2 with an exponent of negative 8 divided by 3.62 with an exponent of negative 47 and we get 2.3 with an exponent of 39 so what they want you to realize here is that the electrical force binding the 
electron to the proton is very significantly larger than the gravitational force on the order of times 10 to the 39th. On behalf of MathAndSciencePower.com, thanks for watching.